Are you making the mistake of only posting your offers once? It happens a lot in the artist community. And I want you to sell your art. So today I address the concerns that most artists have about promoting their work and reveal what studies show about how many times a customer needs to see your offer in order to take action. Welcome to the Empowered Artist Podcast, where you'll get all the strategy to sell your art online. I'm Jenna Webb. I've helped thousands of artists realize and achieve their dream. Tune in each week as we simplify art marketing, make selling your work fun, and elevate your artpreneur mindset. Let's do the damn thing. Have you signed up for the Empowered Artist Challenge yet? This is a totally unique experience putting you in the spotlight. If you want to grow your business and boost your social media engagement with our community of 30,000 listeners, this is your chance. Each day, I'll be shouting you out on social media, and you have the chance to win some really sweet prizes like a shout out on this podcast for extra exposure and scholarships to my signature programs. The challenge is taking place right now through April 12th, and it's easy to participate. To sign up for free, go to jennawebart.com slash podcast and get the PDF guide with all the details. I am really excited about today's show, you guys. It's the first day of spring. We're in a season of growth and renewal. For today's show, that B Nala is not invited back. But the ironic thing is she's actually getting her portrait painted upstairs. So it's amazing how we spoil our dogs. I'm so excited to start this challenge and interact with you on social media this week. Just a reminder, as you take place in the challenge, make sure your posts are meeting all of the challenge criteria, because when I do see your posts and they meet all the criteria, that is when I will repost and share and shout you out. I am loving this spring season. I've got a lot of new things coming up in the business, but also to share some personal updates, I've got my sister and her fiance visiting this weekend for a quick day trip. It'll be so great to see her. And in bigger news, my boyfriend has put his house on the market, Trevor, because we decided that we are going to move in together. So he's actually moving into my house. So I thought I would share that news with all of you. That means Nala is moving in too. We might need a gate to lock her out of the podcast. (laughs) Let's dive into the show. So what's the biggest mistake that I see when it comes to artists posting their offers online? I would say it's the mic drop. (laughs) Only posting your offers once and then walking away. And maybe I see the offer getting posted again or that piece of artwork being marketed again for a second time. And when that artist doesn't get any nibbles, they stop there. So let me introduce the rule of seven, this big marketing principle that you need to understand when it comes to your business and marketing your art. It means that a customer needs to hear about your offer at least seven times on average before taking action, such as making a purchase. Studies have shown that the average number of touch points required before a conversion is made is between six to eight. Now this really varies depending on the industry and the product or service being offered. So this means for you that the number of times you need to show someone an offer in your business or a brand new creation is going to vary widely depending on a lot of factors like the type of product or service, your target audience, the quality of the offer, and the marketing channel used. So when you post that offer once and it doesn't get any bites or nibbles and you post it twice, I know your brain is going off with a ton of negative talk because it didn't work, but don't give up because there's a lot of factors at play. The customer needs to see that offer at least seven to eight times before the offer is really sinking in. Trust me, I understand how this feels. When your painting doesn't sell for the first time, you know you're disappointed. But when it doesn't sell for that third or fourth time that you've made the offer, that's when your emotions start weighing heavy on you. And that's when the self-talk can really get you down. I have been there. But the truth is you can still trust yourself through shaky confidence if your faith is greater than your fear. 
And I share this with you because when I started my art business, I didn't have the support of my parents. There were a lot of naysayers and false beliefs about what it means to be an artist in business. I had moments where I could not pay my bills with my art, and there were times that I thought I was doomed. But ultimately, I knew that I could bet on myself because I was the one in control of my thoughts, my actions, and therefore my outcomes. Even if my parents or society couldn't see the light yet, I was determined. And that belief, faith over fear, and trial and error is what built me a six-figure art business. So let me ask you a question. When was the last time that you saw an ad more than once and because of that, you gave it your attention? You can answer that question in the episode comments. And when we're chatting on social media this week, I want you to tell me this. How often have you been marketing a particular offer? Did you hit the magic number seven? I can't wait to discuss it with you. Repetition is absolutely key to selling. Having confidence and self-promotion and comfortability in the value your art brings is also key because this is what gets conveyed in the energy in your offers and your marketing copy that your customers are seeing. Artists ask me all the time, is sending more than one email too much? Is posting about this art piece again going to annoy my fans? Am I going to get unsubscribes? <laughs> the answer is absolutely not. People are busy. People need reminders. And you heard about the mega marketing principle, that magic rule of seven. People need to see your offer again and again for a multitude of reasons. When you own it, you won't feel like you are bothering someone when you are marketing your art and asking for the sale. This mindset is something that we focus on in Artpreneur Academy. The Artpreneur mindset is central to everything you do as a creative business owner. Wouldn't it feel great to have the mindset where you can promote your art frequently enough to generate a sale and feel really good about selling your artwork to someone who needs your gorgeous creations? That does it for this week, my love. Stay tuned for next week. We are going to expand on the seven touchpoint rule when it comes to art pricing. If you loved this episode, it would mean so much to me if you shared it with another artist or share it on social media and tag me at Jenna Web Art so I can personally thank you. To grow your art business right now, check out the free resources in the show notes or head directly to JennaWebArt.com. Thanks for listening, following, and dropping a five-star written review. I am cheering you on every step of the way. I'll catch you right here next week.